What is that? You know what? I'm just gonna take it to the face. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, we just, we just broke our whole craft. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Mechanic Miner. Today, we're gonna be venturing into this deep, dark, red cave. It should be fun, but before we do that, I uh, read the comments, you guys gave me a few good suggestions on things that we desperately need. So I'm going to be get getting some of these bones right now because we need them. At least I believe so because you guys said I could connect my crossbow to my uh, steering wheel. So I could aim up both at the same time. If that's the case, that is amazing. Now, I already looked with the belts and I don't think you could attach belts to it because there's the, these connection points. Uh, to anything that you can attach to. So I'm thinking it's the wires. Now, actually, before we get into that, let's just drop these over here for right now because I need to make something else that you guys let me know is in this game. For some reason, I just assumed there wasn't a storage bin. There definitely is a storage bin, and we definitely need one. So we're going to put a storage bin right by our door here. How do we use this? Okay, press E to use. And that is a lot more space, so I don't know why I never did this before, but we can throw some of the less needed ingredients in there. We need most of these. We can throw the belts in there. Anything that we've basically crafted before. Manganese. I don't think we're going to need that anytime soon. So now at least we got some space, damn it. And with that space, let's build 20 circuits. Because I think, yes! Okay, so this is what we needed to connect the lever. Is it the lever that we need to connect to or the engine? Probably the lever. So let's try something here. So we got to do that and then bring this over here like that and then bring this up there like that. Now, I think that should be connected together, so if we try this out here, we should... Oh, why? That's so much easier. We can control and shoot at the same time. And speaking of that, let's actually... We, we have some ingredients here. Let's see what we can make. All right, we do have some new weapons. We can make spikes for our thing if we want to, but what I'm curious about is the rail gun. Now, this has an input of steam, so we need to attach it to the boilers if we wanted to do this. Uh, I guess we can throw this on here. Let's try it out. Let's see if we can do this right now. I'm worried we're going to use too much steam. Where'd it go? I just, I just took it out of my inventory. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. It's back on my bar. That was weird. So if we put this... I don't even know where I want to put this thing. I don't know how it works. It's a rail gun. It, ju it just vanished again. Oh, God. Okay, it's back. All right, before we break it again, let's just throw that down here. So I think we need steam with that. And we also need to control it. So let's set up the controls first. So we should be able to just drag this down here like so and then up like so. And we have that all connected to the same lever. Uh, but again, this thing needs steam. So what we're going to need to do, I don't think I have any pipes. I think I made some, but I got rid of them. So yeah, we are definitely going to need some pipes here. Let's make quite a few of these. I have no idea how many I'll need, but it's only using iron. So we'll make 20 of those. And let's see, what can we do here? Uh, I guess we could go on the roof. So yeah, I think I'm going to connect it to this other boiler up here. And we're just going to connect that to that and then go down like that. And can we just connect it from the roof? Oh, we're just out, but that's fine. Build a few more, and it looks like we do have to connect on the side. That's totally fine. So that should be good, I think. We just need to, looks like we got to put wood in that. So we'll throw some wood in. Actually, we should probably fill up all these. Oh, it's actually not wood. What does it need? What, what was the input that we needed with this? Let me see here. Uh, well, it just says steam and control. So I'm not really sure what it's telling me to put in there. It looks like maybe it's dirt. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell just happened? Okay, well, clearly this thing is prone to being broken. What we're gonna need, though, is some more water. I don't actually have any water right now, so I'm gonna go back. I don't remember the last time we saw water, but uh, yeah, we're clearly gonna need to go get some resources, and I think I'm gonna need dirt as well. So then maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to use this uh, rail gun because, I mean, it's a rail gun. That's awesome. Just weird that it needs what I assume is dirt. Uh, okay, so this was the last one that we did. That was basically the whole episode in there. But further down, there should be a watering hole, and hopefully it regens. Okay, so yes, here we are, and this is what we needed. This little watering hole is the greatest thing ever. So we got it here. Let's grab as much water as possible, because I think we're going to be using a lot of boilers now, since we have a railgun as well. 
Uh, so we need all the water we can get. All right, that's all of it. We got 31 now, so that should be very decent. We'll fill up that. Oh, yeah, we, we still have 27, so that kind of shows you how much we need. Now, does this need water? No, it doesn't need water. Maybe... Yeah, it's, it's got to be something else. Oh, oh, that's right. I, ca I can't really move them water too well. We're just going to extract some of this stuff because why not? All right, I think this is it. So I just found, oh, it's rock. Is it considered rocks that we need? Yes, it is. Okay, so that almost filled it up. So all these little rocks around, we haven't been able to use them yet. Now we clearly know it's for the rail gun. Let's see if we can actually use this thing, though. So we'll throw some more rocks in there. That's good. And if we control this, oh, there we go. It's aiming up. Yep, it looks like... Oh, yeah, I totally got it, I think. Is it doing it? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's, let's pull it back. Yes, it is throwing rocks out, as you can see. Okay, so it makes sense now. I thought a rail gunner would use light. No, it's just throwing rocks really, really quickly. But that that's cool. We got two guns now. All right, I'm actually having problems getting up the hill now. So I'm wondering if I should put this into three-wheel drive. We can definitely do that. And it's looking like if this top wheel doesn't connect, then we have no power to the wheels, obviously. But it gets stuck right here. Yeah, you can see it starts bouncing like crazy. If we had power to the middle wheel, at least, uh, we'd be able to do this pretty easily. So, looks like uh, it's too heavy now to go up the hill that we came down from since we've added so much to this. Alright, so it's definitely not a pretty craft, but you know what? It should work as long as these things all have a drive gear now, and yes, they do. We also might want to increase our engine. We're, we're using the old engine. I think we actually can afford the other engine. But if it can make it up, there we go. It's a little rough, but we did do it now thanks to all the wheels having power. So yeah, we'll probably upgrade those engines later. I don't really mind this thing. I mean, it's, it's not pretty, but it's got lots of weaponry on it now. So that's all I'm worried about. We might actually add some more defenses to the top as well. Let's grab these rocks since we're right here. The more rocks we have, the better because we're going to have to use those for weaponry. All right, let's finally get into this cave. Let's actually just kind of take a sneak peek quickly over here in case there's a new resource that we kind of need. We got more rocks and everything, but this is stuff that, uh, yeah, to be expected we need. Whoa, look at this one. Okay, so clearly that's that's like a wormhole. There's some crazy worm in there. I don't want to screw with that just yet. Let's just hit each cave as they come about. Gotta say, this one doesn't look too much better though. There's definitely something down here, something very, very scary. So here we go. Uh, yeah, let's bring it on. The fierce small critters I had encountered excreted a green glowing substance. However, in the sand caves, I also found remnants of a much bigger, or sorry, of much bigger excretions. So yeah, we got big old poops in here. Let's uh, close that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Go back down into that cave. We got to stay down there, but I want to get off this so I can close my, oh, the door is closed now. I thought it was open. I did leave it open. Uh, should we turn on my ventilation system? I don't think we're going to need it just yet. Actually, before we start killing our boilers here, we do have to keep these things lit. So there we go. We got lots of wood anyways. Oh, wrong one. I, I probably should have moved these. Now, now, now that I have to, you know, precisely use this one little piece, uh, it's kind of annoying that sometimes I go on the other pieces of machinery. But look at this place. We got mushrooms here, guys. Uh, of course, we're going to extract those if we can. Oh, what was that? Can I not extract the mushroom? It's wiggling. At least I think it's wiggling. Let me see if I can get closer. Unfortunately, I don't think I can extract mushrooms. Okay, but we clearly built this perfectly because if we built it any taller, we wouldn't be able to get in this cave. Oh, we're going deeper. That's for sure. Going to keep going this way just in case there's something over here. You never know. Oh, there's actually multiple entrances. This is where I'm going to get lost, guys. So I have to go down. Looks like that's a dead end over there. So, yes, let's go down in this one and see what's down here. Thank God we got that light. We actually might want to add more lights to our craft as we do get deeper here. Oh, we got something there. What is that? Okay, that's a bat for sure. Come on out, bat. Are the bats just not going to come out? Maybe it's not a bat. What are, what are these? Oh, oh, scorpions. Okay, killed it. Oh, this is so much better. I don't know why that other one didn't come out. Let's actually extract this guy. Because you never know what these guys give. There we go. We got some protein. Ah, I'm full again. Oh, 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 bats. Bats inside. I didn't even see that. Jesus. Okay, we got lots of bats. Where did he come from? Well, that took one of my hearts. The door's still closed, so I'm very confused at this point. But hey, sometimes bats just will just want to come inside. So let's use this and let's give myself some space here. Where do I get more water? I, I, I put all the water. I'm very confused. I put all the water away. Okay, now we can pick up that protein, and we haven't needed to use the protein yet, but you never know when you need to use it. So, uh, yeah, I guess venturing onwards here. 
I really like this new upgrade that we can shoot on the fly because that makes life way more easy. There we go. You can see, like, I have so much firepower. It's just, it takes seconds. Okay, is this to go deeper or to go up? Okay, it is to go down. Let's go a little further over here. Oh, yeah, we got the big old bats. You know what? That's fine. Come on, bring it on. Totally missed him. Totally missed him again. There we go. Take out that one. Take out that one. I guess the one thing I do have to worry about is if they break my walls down and I'm using the ventilation, I could die. So we might want to add some defenses there. Uh, but yeah, these guys, no match for me. This is actually really cool. Okay, come on up, little guy. There we go. This rail gun, uh, very useful because it shoots so damn quickly. Let's kill that guy. There we go. Kill that guy before we can even get to it. Mind you, the rail gun, you can see the bullet drop is pretty crazy. It's just good for damage output. Oh, God. Okay, I'm getting back. I'm getting back. I'm scared. Did not notice the amount of scorpions on the ground, and we don't want to screw with those guys. So there we go. All these things on the ground. Let's extract them. Get some rocks as well. Why not? All right. There's got to be something over here. Is there really nothing? Did I kill all those things for nothing besides a little bit of protein? I guess it looks like that's the case. Oh, there's a little bat in front of us. Get out of here, you little brat. All right. Well, I guess there's nowhere to go but down. I mean, I guess technically we could go up, but we've already been there, so let's keep heading deeper. Ooh. Looks like there's a grid pattern in the background. Are we finding, like, a, an old civilization or something? Oh. Oh. I didn't- I didn't think I'd be right! What is this? Okay, come on. You know what? Let's start using the other thing. Oh my god! Okay, okay, that's not good. That's not good. For some reason, am I out of ammo? It doesn't look like my real gun's working. It must be, though. Alright, well, let's just kill these little guys first, and I guess we gotta go... What is that? You know what? I'm just gonna take it to the face. Oh, no, I'm not! No, I'm not! Oh, we just, we just broke our whole craft. All right, well, let's go back up. Let's repair this thing. Maybe we should add some more defenses to this side, because clearly that guy took me down in seconds. All right, so what we're going to do, now that we're starting to find issues, I might actually upgrade a lot of this side to plate. Let's actually just do the front of it. So we're going to delete all of this. We'll get rid of that, and we're going to build a plate wall. Which uses actually quite a bit of iron, so I don't want to build... Oh, let's build 20 of these at least. And how much iron do I have left? Where is my iron? Okay, I still have quite a bit. And at least that way we won't lose our wheel right away, because that's obviously one of the most important parts. So we're going to put that like that. I think we put one more in here. Problem being, the one thing we need is a door, and doors are made out of wood in this game. Inventory's full? Great. Uh, we'll just throw one of these things away. Throw it back in here. What are we not using copper? Pro well, actually, I think we are using copper. Definitely not using manganese to make a door. So there we go. We'll go back into machinery. I love how the door's in machinery. So confusing. <laughs> but yeah, we unfortunately, we have to deal with having that door. So I guess we're just going to have to accept it. Now, do I want to get an iron wheel? I wonder the size of these things. I, I guess we could upgrade all of them to iron. How much does it cost? 3.5 iron? Yeah, you know what? We'll upgrade and get three wheels here, and that's going to be a lot of my iron gone, but it's worth it. All right, well, what if we just pull this back a little bit? There we go, and then attach it to it. Now, look, oh, God, how am I going to... Oh, it just ran over me. Okay. No, come back. I kind of need you. I need you. Oh, my God. Oh, no, a bat. Oh, this is not good. This is seriously not good. Oh, it's hitting me. Kill the bat, please. Oh, my God. I need to get inside. Oh, no, this is bad. I can't- I'm- 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 I'm too short now to get inside my damn craft. Oh, God, what? I'm gonna die to a damn bat. Okay, there we go, there we go. Get inside, get inside, get on the damn thing. Shoot that bastard! <laughs> Jesus, almost died to a little bat. Okay, so that's a little dangerous. We really have to be careful when we're getting inside now because of how big this thing is. All right, let's give this another try. Uh, hopefully we're a little bit stronger now and we can actually deal with this. How are we doing for resources? We're actually pretty good for them all. At least we got half. So I want to see what the hell this thing is because clearly it's a pretty big monster here. So I'm just going to rush in. We'll see what happens here. Roach-like beast? Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, take him out. Take him out. Come on. How much? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. Okay, this is weird. I should probably kill these little guys first. You know what? Yeah, let's pull back. Because this guy's damaging me quite a bit. There we go. Got out one. I'm actually stuck. Oh, God. That poison really gets you good. All right, we got the other one. Do I want to go back in? I have enough weaponry, and I'm not losing my wheels. That's what I'm scared about. So let's go back. Roach-like beast. So how do we... When are we supposed to hit it? it uh, uh, obviously, that's its health bar, right? So... I must be doing something wrong because I have not hit it at all there, and I definitely lit it up, so let's head back. 
Ah, uh, yeah, we don't got much of a craft left. I had encountered a large roach-like beast with a very tough hardened carapace. Ah, uh, if I were to take it on, I would need to arm myself with some kind of steel weapon. Okay, so it looks like we actually need some sort of saw. Ah, uh, so boiler plus engine plus saw. Oh, okay, so I'm using totally the wrong items here. Where is this weapon, though? Is that a saw? Because it could be the bomb. We got, uh, we have the bomb. That's the only thing. It doesn't look like it, though. So, hold on. Let's go to blueprints here. And, oh, that actually didn't work. Okay, is it in tech? Oh, there it is right there. Requires, required tech is none. Unlock programs, steel spike, and saw blade. Cost level is five. You can't be researched either because of your level is too low, or what does it say? You don't have the pre-requisite tech. So, yeah, we have to level up once more to get to that. So, obviously, we're getting a little too far ahead of ourselves here. Let's go. I didn't want to go down. Uh, we we're going to head back up. I guess I could repair it here. My god, this thing is totally screwed up. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do some repairs real quick. Abrupt jump cut. I decided to get rid of the whole old craft and make a whole new one here. So instead of wasting your time watching me try and upgrade the other one only for me to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, welcome to our new craft. This one is definitely a lot better than the last. Uh, we've also built this uh, thing down here. The main reason I built this thing was because I wanted to hide the door. Now, the door's underneath. It shouldn't be hit now. And in front of us, as you can see, we have a huge metal wall. Also, a metal wall in the back. We'll probably turn this all into metal later on, but for right now, I think this is pretty good. I also changed it to just the uh, crossbows again. What, what, what am I doing? Oh, I'm up here. Okay, I was like, what the hell? But yes, I changed it to two crossbows instead of the railgun. I find these things to be a bit better anyways. We also have a healing station here, and I should have just gotten some protein. So this is what the protein's for. We can use this, and then we got to use the machine, and it does heal us a little bit, as you can see up here. Uh, I have to go kill some more things to fill this thing up, but at least now we have somewhere to use our protein. Aside from that, not too much new. Actually, we have a new engine. Check out this, guys. We... Oh, my God. It is so fast now. It is ridiculous. I actually... I might want to go to the other engine. Now, I'm down in this cave because I was actually trying to get to level 5. We are level 5 now, so that's good. Oh, God. Get this bat out of here. So now we should be able to use the spinny thing. So let's go up and try and beat this boss. All right, so now that we're outside, we can actually look at this thing and get this new tech. So we want to unlock the steel weapon tech. So now we should have... How much is this thing going to cost me? Where's the weapons? I'm totally lost here. There it is. We need manganese again, so I think that's actually down in this cave. Uh, we have the 10 iron. We definitely don't have any more manganese. I did lose a lot of my resources, so I guess we should have stayed down there because I got to go down and get some more. We'll do that real quick. All right, here we are. I guess this is a good time to try out our air generator, so it should be working. I think I set it up right. Uh, we're going to go over here, though, and yes, it's pushing it back. Perfect. This is the good stuff right here. So can we even get out of the car, you think? I don't think it's that safe. We have this little platform down here anyway, so we may as well just get that. Now, this is manganese. Yes, it is. Okay, so my assumption was correct. We need, just need 10 of this stuff, and then we can go do this. All right, I'm not sure if we went to the other side. Whoa, that cut off abruptly. Oh, God, it's, it's the aliens. Oh, they can actually damage me. That's not good. Okay, let's actually attack these guys. There we go. Got the first one. Oh, look at the damage. So you can actually repair. It looks like I need... What, how, how do we do this? Hold on. So, yeah, it says I need zero. Okay, so, yeah, it slowly repairs it. As long as the block totally isn't destroyed, you can actually repair with the repair tool, which is really cool. Uh, did those um, did those aliens just leave? I was going to loot their bodies. I guess I need to rush that. Oh, God, bat. Get out of here, bat. Uh, it's looking like, yeah, just lots more aliens. I don't really want to screw with those guys right now. So let's head back up. We got what we need anyways, and we know there's lots of monsters down here. Uh, and we can still explore this cave, that's for sure. All right, so let's get back to building this thing. So we have the manganese that we need. It takes 10 iron as well. So how we do this? A deadly weapon once rotating at speed. So uh, input is rotation. So we're going to need to attach it to an engine. Um, I'm thinking, well, am I going to need to do another engine? All right, you know what? Because we're attaching it to this side, I think this will work out. We have this engine right here. Uh, we can just build a thing off of that and have it right up on the front here. So we'll try that out and see how good it is. So first of all, let's make some of these. I can build 20. I don't need that many. I'm going to build like 10 for right now. And I'm going to make like a little arm because I'm assuming we need some distance from this thing. So let's see if that looks good. We'll put the saw blade on the front of that. 
Oh, that this is like some battle bot shit right here. And now to attach the belt. So we're gonna need qu probably quite a few of these. Let's build 20 for right now. No, nothing wrong with having a little bit of storage. Now, is it that one? It looks like it's gonna be that one. And we're just gonna go all the way to that thing. So now, when I press this button, yes, it turns on. Perfect. Okay, so this is such a damn cool game. It's very, very complex for a simple 2D uh, side scroller. All right, but we should be good now, so I don't know if I need any more defenses on the front. I think this should hopefully deal with it. I don't remember how big the creature is. We might actually have to drop this down. We'll see, though. Let's go in there and see what happens. Let's actually turn it on first. That would be smart. There we go. It is engaged. Now, I wonder if the speed of the spin is important, if we should get a better uh, engine for this thing. I guess we'll have to find out as we attack this thing. So here we go, guys. Finally, we have enough. Is this not it? Oh, yeah, I think we gotta go down further. Okay, I finally found it. This is a much bigger cave than I uh, immediately thought. So what we're gonna have to do is go right into him here. And I just gotta take this to the face, basically, as long as I don't lose my saw. All right, let's pull back here a little bit and let's go repair. Yeah, so this is gonna be how it's done. We're gonna have to go back. Oh, I don't have a damn light anymore. I've already been screwed up a lot. I'm gonna try and repair this. Oh, he's still in range. All right, let's keep going here. Oh, God, there's lots of critters as well, and I don't got any... Holy crap, this is way more complex than I thought it would be. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, what, what, what do I do? Do I try and kill these little guys? Because they're just gonna overrun me if I don't. Problem being, I've already lost my damn weapon, and I don't know if he resets, so I don't want to leave. All right, I killed most of them. I'm just gonna fly by the rest. Let's just go for it. Let's see what happens here. If we can just push this guy... Oh, God! Okay! Nope! There's no freaking way we're gonna be able to do this! Let's go back up. Now, I'm just curious. Uh, you know what? Let's just leave this here. I, I'm gonna- I, I'm gonna run a risk here. I gotta assume I'm hoping his HP stays because I'm screwed if I have to try and kill this thing all at once. Maybe if we use two saws, we might be able to- Oh, his freaking HP reset. So, I think at this point, guys, I gotta go back to the drawing board. That is clear. We need more firepower and way more defenses. I thought this thing would do it, but that iron wall just did not last at all. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Right now, we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board, I think. Uh, yeah, because clearly, I thought the first boss would be a little bit easier, but no, this guy is legit, and I think I'm gonna make like a tank or something. I, I have to, I have to add way more defenses, that is clear. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, this is Mechanic Miner. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.